Okay, hello everyone. Um, today we're um, trying a, a new one on me. I've had a few uh, few bowls of this. Um, I originally got it when it first came out at the end of last year, and it's uh, Cornell and Dill's Visions of Cellarface. Like I said. Towards the end of last year, September of last year. Now, I've pretty much not smoked aromatics for oh, I don't know, quite some time. Uh, a few over the Christmas, but generally it's um, vapes and English. So, to say this was a bit of a surprise to the palate <laughs> would be an understatement. Um. It's a blend of, uh, let's have a think, what was it, um, Katsuri, um, which seems to be, let's get close up, should focus in a second folks, there we go, yeah, Katsuri, which seems to be a feature in most of the elder, elder blends, old one blends, um, I'm not sure what the title of the the blend uh, group is. Um, Mad Fiddle and Flick uh, and all, all those um, Lovecraftian based tobaccos that they brought out, I think, um, throughout the last year. Uh, or was it the year before? Anyway, yeah, so Katsuri's in there. Um, Black Cavendish. Uh, Red and bright Virginias, and there's one other thing in there. Oh, that's not helping. Uh, it wasn't. Oh, um, K Kentucky, Kentucky. I knew it was something dark black, and I knew it wasn't that secure. <laughs> Kentucky. Um. Flavorings, flavorings are spices. Um, and I'll get to that bit in a minute because when I initially opened this and took a whiff, well, didn't even say the whiff as soon as I popped the can, you could smell it. It was like it's a very familiar smell, I couldn't place it. It's not like you know, uh, nuts, beans, and it's spice, but it was a particular, particular thing, and then. As I was smoking the first pipe, it suddenly came to me. It literally smells like uh, incense. Incense sticks, you know, the packs of uh, Josh sticks. Um, yeah, even now, even now the smell has faded a little bit. Not much, but a little bit. It's still there, it's still there. And that does transfer through to the smoke, both in the smell, which apparently is it's quite a good room note, if that's any uh, any help to anybody, um, but also the flavour, the flavour, you definitely get that smell taste, is the best way I can put it, uh, on the tongue. Do me while that up. In keeping, I'm using uh, one of Chrissy's tempers from Eldridge Pipes. This is one of the glow in the dark ones. Great little pipe. Uh, pipe temper, I should say. Yeah, so anyway. This was a shock to the system. That's the best way I could put it. Um, after, oh, I don't know, about six or seven bowls of this now, I'm starting to, it's, it's not so bad. 
but when I first smoked this, I thought, "Oh my god, I can't, I can't smoke this. This is just..." Oh. But if you persevere, it's not a bad smoke. Um, again, it's a training palette, I suppose. Um, it certainly still has that uh, incense taste to it. Uh, I understand some people have said that there's a grapey flavour. I don't get any grapey flavour, but in case there's a grapey flavour, I've got some red wine. Which I have to say goes quite well with it, actually. Mm. I was tempted to smoke this originally in in, in a briar, again in one of Chrissy's Eldridge pipes, because of the whole Eld Gods. Lovecraftian tobacco big. I'm kind of glad I didn't smoke it in this now. Um, I suspect that this will leave an impact on any briars you put it in. So, Meershams and Cobbs, I would suggest. Unless you've got a particularly bold aromatic pipe, you don't mind having a mixture of flavours in. But I would suggest the first time a mission or a cob. Um, certainly not Virginia pipe. Not that anyone would. But you certainly would get that tainted. Hmm. Look at that. Visions of Salafas. If you like aromatics, you probably will like this. If you don't like aromatics, you really won't like this. Um, if you're like me, who tends to wobble from one side to the other, but tends to be more on the the vape side, English side. Um, it's an okay occasional smoke, but but you will suffer a culture shock when you first smoke it. Um, it's a very dominating um, flavour. You cannot, or I cannot, pick up any tobacco flavours at all. There's nothing I can... They might as well just use all Cavendish in there, because you don't get any of the... You, there's, well, I don't know how much Kentucky's in there, but you get no Kentucky. Certainly, you don't get any the Katsuri. Burns well, smokes well, but the overpowering flavour is incense. Um, I don't get anything else. Um, my palate is a bit of a knackered old fart anyway. Even so. Mm. Would I buy this again? Would I buy this again? I don't I don't think so. Um, I have actually got uh, another tennis. Uh, I may pass it on to someone or I may just leave it in the cellar. I haven't decided yet. Yeah. Like I said, I tend not to smoke too many aromatics. So they do tend to sit around in the cellar for a 
a long time. Uh, and I'm not sure. For me, this is this is cellar space worthy. Don't know. After a few more, maybe I'll change mine. But as it stands at the moment, I'm happy to have tried it. But that's probably as far as it's going to go. On it. Like I said, some of you guys that are into aromatics may love this. I mean, you um, hardcore Virginia vapes out there, I think you will have a big problem with it. Anyway, everyone, hope you're staying well. Hope you're staying out of trouble. Um, thank you for watching. Have a good one. Cheers.